Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Guide. We are back in the world in this cold February, having just come back from a bit of adventuring that we did in the last episode. I've taken my armor off and made a little armor stand, and by crouching and right-clicking, you can add armor and even shields to a, an armor stand. These can also actually hold weapons, I think, if I take all these off. Okay, give me that shield. Can you hold this too? Yep. So they can hold one item in hand, be it a sword or shield, but not both. They don't have two hands, even though they clearly do, staring at you, other hand. The last episode with our adventure kind of brought to attention the fact that we don't have nearly enough arrows in our inventory because we don't have any feathers to make arrows. And we could make those really awful flint and stick arrows, but they really deal so little damage, it's not really worth the time or the effort, or the materials. So I was thinking of permanently solving our issue with feathers. And I wanted to make a chicken coop and lure out some chickens to us. And I've been thinking about where to put this chicken coop, because you need to put them a little bit away from places that you normally go and hang out and work because you can scare the chickens from brooding on their eggs. So that's why I didn't include a section for chickens in our barn. I'm considering the eventual layout of the landscape I want to have here, and while I'd like to put the chicken coop really far away, like maybe even up here, that puts it a little far for now, and also it puts it kind of close to wolf territory, and wolves will also disturb your chickens. Even if they can't get to them, the chickens will still run around like crazy if they here or since a wolf nearby. So I'm thinking way out here isn't the best place to put them. And over here, I was thinking about maybe putting some fields, which could get in the way of the chicken coop, but what if I lay the fields out kind of diagonally this way, and then put the chicken coop somewhere back here? Maybe even up here. This is, again, a little close to the woods, but at least it's sort of in line of sight of our house. So you know what? I think I'm going to say put our chicken coop back here. So I'm going to go ahead and start flattening this land here. And I want to gather up some materials and make sure that we have everything we need for our build. I'm going to use a somewhat similar build palette as our barn with some notable differences and with a few neat twists. Something else important that changed in 1.16.4, which I updated to in the last episode, is that they made a change to how you can dry items, including bow staves and belts, when you combine fat and a piece of animal hide. So now, any storage is considered open storage. So I'm leaving these in here to cure, because I want to make a pair of warm gloves. We can make some fur gloves. These will be a little bit better than our current gloves. And they're made with a knife or shears in the center, and then four medium, large, or huge pelts, two on either side of it. So those will give us, I think, one more degree of protection? Yes, one full degree of protection against the cold. So, the build palette for our coop. I was thinking I wanted to stick with something similar to the barn, but not the same. And the coop's going to be notably smaller. We don't need a whole lot of space for chickens, because they don't take up much space. So I was thinking, instead of wooden supports on the outside, I was thinking stone. And then I'm thinking for the roof. I want to do another slate roof, but this seems like too much of a slant. I don't want to have a really tall coop. And even a 5x5 five five or 7x7 seven seven interior building is going to have a roof that's three or four blocks tall. I don't think I want a coop that big, especially with the extra block for overhang. It's just going to be too much. And since the building is going to be lower to the ground, this overhang is going to be right over our head, which actually can cause trouble if you're trying to enter or exit the area in winter. The snow will actually pile up too high right here, and we won't be able to move out from here. So instead, I'm thinking that we can take some slate and some clay, and we can just make some slabs, like so. And our roof will start here, and then go like that, 
and then I guess I could just do this like that. So we'll have a much shallower roof. And frankly, it's a shame that the actual roof blocks don't come in anything other than 45 degree angle options, but we'll make do. And what I might do instead of this cobblestone, because it's so similar to our rental roof, is I might make instead a bit of dry stone blocks. Dry stone is made by taking your stone of choice, in this case granite, and getting a chisel and hammer. And you can break it down first into a polished rock and then into polished rock slabs and from there down into bricks. Now bricks can be used with mortar to make the brick blocks that we have in the basement that we've acquired from the ruins we've ransacked. Or if you take your bricks and surround them with granite stone or stone of the same type, you can make dry stone, which is kind of similar to cobblestone but a notably different texture, sort of larger blocks. So if we instead drop these here, we have a notably different texture, which won't blend in quite as well with the roof. And it should help them stand out from each other a little bit more. Now to go along with that, I do want to introduce some more of the ooh, pine. And it looks like we are a bit low on pine at the moment, but I do want to find where I put my saw. Ah, there you are. And we'll just turn you into planks, or sorry, into boards. I call them planks because of that other block game. And we will again have walls made of pine, along with a standard wooden door, since they only come in one flavor, and trap doors for windows again, same as on the barn. So we will have these colors working together. Close enough. And just to add a bit of flair in, I'm thinking of working in a bit of walnut. I'm not sure where, and it might be part of a chisel block, but I would like to have some walnut in the build to give it a little bit of contrast, color, whatever you want to call it. I think those would work really well together. Maybe if I mix, maybe if I mix the walnut slabs and the pine slabs, I can chisel some door frames or window frames or some kind of trim. But there is our block palette. We are short on some of these materials, like the slate we might have enough of. Actually, I think we have enough slate. But we're going to need some more pine, especially. So in the morning, I think what we'll do is we're going to head southeast from here, because I know across the way this direction, we have some more pine trees that we can check for resin and any that don't have resin, we can just chop down. And I also spy, I think these are Crimson King maples. I might like to get a couple of their seeds so we can plant some trees that have different and interesting foliage. Now it is a medium rich activity night, so I think we're gonna stay in and I will do some household chores, including tearing this down. And in the morning, we will head out. Okay, good morning, everyone. As you can see, it is starting to get lighter out much earlier than it used to. In fact, it was light about 5.30, but I was still putting things away. So I'm thinking, let's go, actually, you know what, there's a trader down there, and I've visited him recently, but let's take some gears with us in case he has anything new that we might want to buy. I'll bring about half of these. And let's be off. We're going to go get us some pine trees. And down here is a cave I would like to explore at some point in the nearish future. Maybe we'll have another caving episode and I'll throw that copper armor back on. Now, I've been through this way a couple times recently and I haven't noticed any wolves, but we still need to keep our eyes open. Especially for those flesh-eating sheep and berry-stealing raccoons. And the rabbits like to nibble on your frame rate. Here we go. So here is our trader. Anything useful today? Yeah, I bought his potash and his parchment and some linen because we were getting low. I think we have some sulfur nearby, so I'm going to leave this here for now. And he won't buy anything we have, so... Or rather, we don't have anything he's looking for. 
So we're going to go and look for some more resin on these pine trees that are over in this direction and down to the south a bit. And if we don't find any, then we will just chop each tree down as we get to it. That will also help us in the future when we're coming back here looking for more resin. We'll know which trees to look at because they'll still be standing. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Pig, don't do that to me. Whew. Oh, boy, you just came barreling out of there, didn't you? <laughs> Heart attack time. And you know what? I was going to bring shears so that we could maybe get some more sticks and some more seeds, but we already have enough at home. I'm not too worried about it right now. That, however, is a wolf. How are you st Oh, no, you don't. Oh, man. He just... Out of nowhere. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was, um... Mildly terrifying. That heart attack was worth it, I think. <laughs> oh, and I still have my hammer with me. Why did I... Oh, good grief. Yeah, you were hungry. Your weight is low. You still have fat somehow. I will take everything you got. Well, we came out the other side in one piece. Let's see. Pine logs. Nothing. Okay. And down you come. Okay. Okay, well, let's get this home and we will start marking out where we're going to put our coop. Okay, we are back home, and I had a sudden bit of inspiration, is that instead of that dry stone that looks so much like the cobblestone, what if we just grab, not that, here we go, stone bricks. There we go. I was thinking the stone bricks would be a better contrast to the slate cobble roof. Now to mark this place out, I want to go maybe a little bit beyond our apiary here. And what I think I'll do is I might have at some point, eventually, a little road that runs back here. I'd kind of like to have a second apiary right here, and maybe even a third one farther down or somewhere else entirely. And what we can do is we can come out, say, three. We'll say this is the center of our road, or path or whatever. So we can come out here, and is this far enough? This, oh, there's a little water here, okay. Well, we can fill this in as we build, because I want to build this right here. Kind of on the edge of the forest, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I've already done some clear cutting of the maple trees to make some charcoal. So let's get working over here. Our door will be right there. And I'm thinking a seven block wide interior. Bloop. So the outside blocks are there. And then I don't like to build square buildings too much because I try to avoid it. I think I want to keep that going here. And instead of a seven block interior on the depth, we will go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And drop you there and we'll drop you there. And then we will have our pine. Okay, there we go. So we have, oops, our pine. Get back here. And we'll take this up just, I think three, like that. And then we'll just finish this off. And we'll do it all across here. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll have some windows, again, made out of the trap doors, right here and here. And we'll do the same kind of thing here, just with one, since we have a shorter wall. And then here, since we have the 
door will give it a little more bracing there. Oop, that doesn't work. Much better. So this floor is going to have to go. I'm going to use the same kind of floor in the barn. We'll have a pine floor back this direction. And then where the chickens are will be a strewn straw floor. Okay, we have the straw part of the floor in. And I'm leaving this open back here because I have something else I want to do back here. Just fill this in with dirt to avoid unpleasant and wet surprises. And now for the pine floor here. Okay. And then I was thinking we could put some of these aged fences in here along with the aged gate. There's that. Still quite similar to our barn's interior. Let's get the foundation in next. And once again, I'm doing the polished granite. We're getting a bit low on that, so I'm going to have to replenish that here soon, but we are good for now. And then we can get started on the roof. Let's go ahead and just make you horizontal while we're at it. And there we have a basic roof done. Now what I think I might do is I might come along with a chisel and could just smooth this out a little bit, just to give it one more stair step per block. I don't often like the super, super smooth roofs, not because they're ugly or anything, but one, they take a lot of effort. I like to keep things at least somewhat blocky, typically. And you know what I might do? I don't like this sort of extra slate sticking out. I might replace these guys with stairs here. Upside down stairs. Let's do that. We seem to have very high rift activity here. So we might not stick around here much longer. There we go. Trap doors in. I think what I'll do next is I want to have, I think I will have a ceiling here, a bit of wood here, just to sort of break up some of this slate overhead stuff. Ah, you do fit in there. Perfect. Okay, nice. Then, let's use the rest of these to just sort of put little, little supports in here. Oh, they don't fit. Tell you what, we'll just do this and a bit of that, like so. Hmm. No, I don't like that too much. Let's leave it the way it was and we'll just take these guys out. Okay, so along the back there is where we're going to have our hen boxes. And down here we will have our little troughs. And what we're going to have to do is, similar to the other animals, we will put some troughs out and I will spread some out in directions that I know there are some chickens. But chickens have sort of the inverse relationship to the player as the other animals do. Chickens will always run away. So we can actually chase them without ever smacking them by just getting behind them and sort of herding them toward the coop. And that's what I might do tomorrow, as long as the rift activity dies down a bit. 
Well, I think I might rest for the night. And we will continue tomorrow when we aren't bound to be swarmed by drifters. And we are back. Rifts are calm, which is perfect. It is blustery outside. We need to make some hen boxes. Now, hen boxes are a special container where hens will lay their eggs. In previous versions of the game, hens were more mammalian than they are now. And they would just give birth to live chicks. Well, no longer. You now must make hen boxes and lay them out and keep them fed and keep a rooster nearby so that they will fertilize the eggs laid in it. You can collect the eggs from the hen boxes, but they'll be fertilized, or they will also lay eggs in the area around the hen boxes and wherever they roam. So you can pick up eggs off the ground and they will always be unfertilized. So I'm thinking we do like this, and then like that. And then we take the world's worst kind of wood, maple, and we're going to make some hen boxes and some feed troughs. So we'll do, just take that many. I don't think we need that many boards, but we'll see. Troughs. You know what? We will do five here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to need some hen boxes, which I believe are made like this. Yes. So. We will take, let's do two hen boxes. I don't want a chicken explosion, so two for now. Because chickens will lay eggs up to three at a time, and so you can have clutches of six fertilized eggs. And that can mean a lot of chickens, a lot of feathers. I don't really like poultry. It's not as filling as red meat, so I probably won't harvest them for their poultry so much as the feathers but we will get 9 to 15 feathers per chicken, so I'm not too, too worried about having thousands of chickens in here. Or rather, I am, and I'm worried about having thousands of chickens and killing our frame rate. So with that all done, I think it's about time that we knock out a couple of these blocks. Let's do this one and this one. And then we'll make a little staircase up. And we might temporarily also grab you and do a bit of... No, that's too small. Chickens will get through that. There we go. And that way we'll have some one-way paths into the coop. And that way when our chickens arrive and they start smelling the wonderful flax seed we're going to put in here, they will have one way in and then they will be stuck. I might do something like this too. They're kind of... they have kind of bad pathfinding, so we'll help them along a bit. I didn't do yet what I wanted to do with the walnut, but that's okay. We'll get to that here in a bit. Let's go find us some chickens. Now we saw some chickens down the plane down there, but we need to be able to get them up here. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we will start by making sure that they have a path up to the top of our little ridge here, which means we're gonna take out ooh, some extra bushes. Cool. We are going to just fill in some of this. Maybe chop down some of this. And make sure they have just sort of a little staircase to get up. And we'll just use this junk soil first. Kind of ugly, but it'll do. Now the next order of business is going to be luring them out here. So we're going to chase them a good distance, but we're going to have to let them sort of find the rest of the way up. So we're going to take another trough, and we're going to put one there. We will load it up with one unit of, oops, of not dirt, 
grain. There we go. And I will put one down over, say, here. There we go. We'll put one down over here. And then we'll come inside here and we will load all of these up with even more grain. There we go. Let's go and find those chickens. I know we heard some as we were coming out of the cave that we investigated in the latter part of the previous episode. And let's just then drop you here. We'll do that. And let's head out to that cave. I think this is the cave. Right up here. Yes. So there are some chickens somewhere nearby. I'm going to guess over here in this bit of heath. So we're going to circle around and try to come at it from behind so that if the chickens are still loitering there, we can chase them the direction they need to go. Or the direction we want them to go. Ah, there you are. Okay. Ooh, I hear groans. All right, chicken, let's get behind you. Where did you run off to? Didn't see where they went. Ah, there you are, okay. That's right, just keep going that way. Yep, keep going. Now you're just one hen. I don't see any roosters around here, which is unfortunate. There you are. Okay. And we can kind of just steer them because they will flee directly away from us. I want to steer you away from that tree there. And there you go, buddy. We're losing sight now, it's getting dark. Keep going. And there, you ought to be close enough to pick up on that trough, and we'll just kind of get out of the way. I don't want to disturb her any more than we already have. So we're actually going to go up to our bed, and we might sleep for a long night. We'll sleep in the comfy, aged wood bed. And that should sort of give her the time she needs to wander her way up far enough away from us that she might end up on our plateau here. Good morning again, everyone. It is now nice and bright out, well, bright enough. Let's go see where our hen is. I'm sneak down over here, sort of work my way around from behind. I don't want to spook her again. Now, where did we... <laughs> there she is. At the top. Okay, look at that. So let's go and chase her forward a bit. She's probably had at least a couple servings here. Yes, she has. And we'll leave this empty. We might need to come back and refill them for the next bird. Yeah, there you go. I just want to chase you toward the coop. We're going to spook you that way. You're getting all too far off. There you go. Much better. And maybe we can even spook you up those stairs and into that hole. Come on. Ah, no, you went through it. Ah, oh, geez. Okay. Well, we're going to fix that, won't we? Okay, we'll just sort of let you figure out where you're going to go. Unless you're going to walk at the wall constantly. Then we'll give you a hand. I don't see her anymore. Did she make it in? All on her own? We're going to sneak inside. Very sneaky like. Sneaky hobbitses. Nope, 
she was outside it. Oh, there she is. Okay, we need to fix this. This is clearly a problem. All right, so there's that. And we will just take care of this guy, too. Yeah, she wants to go in there. We're just sort of in her way now. Are we going to go in this time? Huh? And we're going up. You can do it, chicken. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she can't jump there because of the roof block. Oh, no. Chicken, I'm so sorry. Come on, chicken. You can do it. I could have sworn you were short enough to, though. So, open that up for you. Well, she's in the wrong side of the coop, but that'll do. Okay, so, lesson learned. Lessons learned, plural. Chickens are taller than half a block, so they can't go up that. It has this overhang here. There we go. Just get rid of this. My visual way. And there we go. Alright, chicken. I'm here. I know that doesn't really appeal to you. Come on. In you go. Much better. Okay. I don't think you can get out of there. Now I am going to just block off this so that they can't get out this way. They might still fall in there, but whatever. Okay, we have a hen, and now we need a rooster. So I'm going to go out and see if I can find us a rooster. And if I recall correctly, there were some chickens earlier in the year over this way, kind of on the edge of the woods. But on the plateau over here. Oh, wise sheep of most wisdom. Have you seen any chickens around here? No? Okay. Oh, boar. Mr. Boar. Have you perchance spotted any chickens? Specifically roosters? No? Okay. Fine. <gasps> he was lying. There's a hen, at least. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. We're going to go around and we're going to refill those troughs because I forgot to do that. And then we will sneak our way back around behind those chickens and chase them where we want them to go. Okay, uh, there are our chickens. Right up there. Now, I don't really care about the hens. So I mostly want to herd the rooster, and the hens will follow him anyway, so... I think I spy him. Yep, go on. Away with ye. And we're just going to work on chasing you that away. And the roosters, you don't want to get too close because they might end up turning around and pecking you if they get too agitated. Which isn't a problem, they don't hurt much but it does distract them. Well, we will let those chickens find their way up the escarpment again, and then we will check on the coop in the morning. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some housekeeping and maybe spend the rest of the day smithing or panning. I'm not really sure yet. But we need to stay solidly away from their line of travel so we don't spook them by accident. Okay, everyone, it is the next morning. Let's go check on our chickens. Well, they ain't here, that's for sure. Are they back up this way? I think we might have gotten them up top. Let's see. How is this doing? Ooh, we're empty. We're empty. This one's empty. That is a good sign. Oh, come on. Empty. There they go. 
They're trying to get in. And why won't you go in? It's just... In you go. No. Okay, okay, okay. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Let's see if we got them in. Sneak around this way. And what have we got? We have chickens that are still trying to figure out how to get... What? Why are you not going in? This is so weird. Why why can't you get in? Come on, buddies, let's go. Up you go. Oh no, not that way, not that way, not that way. Now why did the one chicken go in just fine? But these other ones won't. Up you go. Yeah, why are you struggling so much, buddy? Why are you struggling like that? Where's your rooster buddy? There he is, okay. Okay, we're gonna come from this direction. And you're still gonna... hmm. I'll try chasing them around. So they really can only... oops. So they can only get in that way once they come around the building. Let's give that a shot. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Uh, You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Don't sit. You smell the food. Ladies are waiting for you inside. You can do it. I can see when those chickens trying to pop back out. He's going up. You, you can get up there. All right. Can you get up now? You just... Oh, good grief. He's going toward the main door. That's not good. Oh, nope. I think he's turning. He recognizes the path. No, I'm not, not this way. That way. There you go. You don't want to come this way. Take five steps, sit in the snow. Take five steps, sit in the snow. Okay. Why can't you get up that incline? No, don't... No, 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 no. Why do you insist on going around that corner? Now get up in there. Come on. Well. This is what we're doing today, I see. Alright, they freaked out. <gasps> One went in. And the other went in. Alright. Alright. Uh. Ugh. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Let's get you. Oops. It's a slip and slide. Let's get you and you in place. Clog that up. Okay, let's finish tearing this down. So if we open you, this ought to... Come on, buddy. Oh, come on, chicken. I've got three in there right now. You might be our first slaughter, actually. Alright, buddy, well, um, you kind of voted yourself off the island, so, uh, yeah. <coughs> Bye. The rest of you, you saw it happened. Behave. Gonna toss some light in here to keep them from randomly disappearing. Sixteen feathers, all right. And two junk meat. So yeah, that is how you drive yourself crazy herding chickens. That only took most of, what, two or three days to do? Yeah, that was pretty nuts. But we have our chickens. They should be pretty secure in here. Wolves won't be able to get to them unless we accidentally open a window. And I'm going to hang out here, and we are going to put some finishing touches on the coop. And we'll work until our rift shows up, and then we'll head out. So, what I was thinking of, as far as additional decorations here, I'm going to cut these up a little bit, and then we are going to turn these into slabs. Now, when you are chiseling blocks, 
if you start with a slab, you can actually turn that into a full-size block if need be. So we have pine slabs and walnut slabs. You can take a chisel, you can hit your F key or the menu key and grab one instance of your new material and drop it on the plus sign. And now you have pine slab and walnut slab. And I just was thinking of doing a bit of a trim around most of this. Oh, you know what? I like the windowsill better. I was going to do trim the whole way across, but what if I just do windowsills? That might look better. And then a door trim, too. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, yeah, and stairs will do this weird janky thing with their textures, I think, until you reload the world. Then it seems to sort of sort itself out a bit. So now we can chisel these out and maybe do a little bit of this around the door and then just a little bit over the top here. There we go. And now I think I might do the roof a bit. And we finished the roof with literally one durability left on this copper chisel. That is fortuitous. And there we have just a slightly smoother roof. It still keeps the blocky look of the game while not quite being such an eyesore. So I think that will look a little bit better. Yeah, I like that more. And let's go check on these chickens and see if they've laid any eggs, because they may have. What have we here? A hen box with two eggs and one egg. Oh, and hey, look at that. It says a broody hen is needed. So that means that we have an egg that's being incubated and two that can be incubated as soon as we leave these poor chickens alone. But we will just fill this up and that way these hens will keep eating and keep breeding and brooding and soon enough, we'll have more feathers. That's cursed. Well, everyone, that's about all we have time for in this episode. I hope you enjoyed our little escapade and chasing down chickens and struggling to get them into our coop. And I hope you enjoyed the coop build. In the next couple episodes, we will need to start getting ready for spring. I have some changes I want to make to our farming setup, specifically our crops. And we need to get ready so that when springtime comes, we can plant as soon as it's safe to do so. Anyway, as always, my name has been Kurazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.